live stream is up. So I just keep starting recordings. PC has started. Cloud has started. Backup is rolling. Sergeant Martinez, can you give us the opening, please? Good afternoon and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing of the Committee on Housing and Buildings. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their video. To minimize disruption, please silence your electronic devices. Thank you for your cooperation. We are ready to begin. Uh, thank you. This, this morning's uh, 27th hearing on housing and buildings uh, will commence. We'll begin with an opening statement from uh, Council Member Robert Holden. Thank you, Chair, and uh, good morning. Um, and so as a civic leader for nearly 40 years and throughout my time in the City Council, I have worked to improve the quality of life in my district and, and neighborhoods across the city. I have spoken out about the poor condition properties are left in when construction is only half complete or when work stops. So under the current law, wooden fences are put up around the site by the contractors or the developers. Unfortunately, these fences deteriorate, attract graffiti, as we know, and become long-term eyesores for neighborhoods. So with the passage of intro 1128A, where work at the construction site has stopped for at least two years, the green wooden fence must be replaced with a chain link fence. The chain link fence is safer, more secure, and, and really cannot be used as a graffiti canvas. So this is an issue that I have wanted to solve for years. So I'm kind of proud that uh, we could come together uh, to get this vital quality uh, of life matter addressed uh, uh, by the council. Uh, these are common sense solutions to problems our constituents care deeply about. And I'm happy that the city council would deliver on this. And, you know, I, I've had, and believe it or not, I've had uh, in my district, and I'm, I assume it's um, around the, uh, the city, I've had construction sites going on 30 years with a construction fence, 30 years, where people who live next to it or across the street or in the neighborhood have to put up with it. So um, this is, um, again, like I said, common sense legislation. I, I just want to thank uh, Chair Robert Cornegy and the housing and building staff for helping us get to this moment. I'd also like to thank Speaker Corey Johnson and his staff, especially Jason Goldman and co-sponsors, uh, Council Members Borelli, Ulrich, Yeager, Jonai, Drum, Rodriguez, Koo, and Moya for assisting in bringing this bill um, up for a vote today. And uh, so I ask my colleagues to vote aye on this piece of legislation. Thank you. Uh, just before we, before we go forward, I wanna thank you, uh, Council Member Holden. Um, we're in a very difficult time in the city and some people would uh, focus away from or, or, or have us believe that we can't focus on quality of life issues while facing some of the bigger picture issues. So thank you for keeping us focused on those things that matter most to constituents in the city of New York and obviously quality of life, public safety, all of those things that are associated with having these type of eyesores um, uh, are important to address as well as some of the other issues. So thank you for keeping your eye on the ball figuratively and literally on behalf of the constituents in all five boroughs. Thank you, council member. Thank you, chair. Uh, 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 at this point, I think we can have um, our committee clerk, William Martin, call the roll. Good morning. This is the May 27th, 2021. Oh, I'm, sorry. Committee. Yeah, I thought, I'm sorry, I thought it was, I thought it was Billy Martin, I'm sorry. Um, no worries, uh, Mr. Chair. This is the May 27th, 2021 Committee on Housing and Buildings uh, roll call vote on proposed intro 1128A uh, Chair Cornegy. Uh, I vote aye. Councilmember Cabrera. I vote aye and I congratulate Councilmember Holden for a great uh, bill. Councilmember Chin. I vote aye and uh, thank you to uh, Councilmember Holden for your leadership on this. Thank you. Councilmember Rosenthal. I vote aye, and along with Councilmember Chin, I want to congratulate Councilmember Holden for his leadership on this very important issue. Thank you. Councilmember Grodenchik. 
I vote aye as well, and I want to congratulate Council Member Holden. Uh, this is a, a, a big problem um, in my community. You know, it, it um, it's a nightmare for the, the adjoining homeowners, especially. I was uh, out canvassing the other night, and um, I saw a house where uh, a dozen years have passed since uh, that, that the house has been under construction. Um, there is one in my community. I don't have 30 years, Council Member Holden, but I do have a 20-year um, house. Uh, right by Cunningham Park. So um, it's not the perfect, perfect solution, but it is a great step in the right direction. And um, I appreciate your advocacy here. Thank you. Thank you. Council Member Joni. Congratulations, uh, Council Member Holden, and I proudly vote aye. Council Member Rivera. I vote aye. Thank you. Council Member Lewis. I vote aye. Council Member Perkins. Thank you very much for your cooperation. I vote aye. Thank you as well. Um, Chair Carnegie, by a vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and zero abstentions, uh, the item is adopted. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you again, Council Member Holden. Uh, this, this, the hearing of uh, May 26th.